Hi everyone. I have here a com another computer running inside my uh, computer, or shall we say, we can see it in our in my screen. This is one computer uh, at home, and I tried to remote desktop it, and the name of this uh, computer is. Uh, uh, TBPC, wherein I'm using this to uh, watch uh, uh, TB programs over the internet. So here is the uh, location of this TB. Remote desktop is very powerful tool that we could use as uh, PC hobbies. And actually, I have here a shortcut of another remote control. And this time, this is not a computer within uh, my uh, home, but it is a computer at work, few miles away from home. And I'm connecting it uh, over the internet. And actually, I left my computer a while ago with another server running uh, uh, inside that computer. So, here is my email uh, through Outlook and uh, uh, these are some of the programs and shortcuts that I have. Now, I'm going to close this down and let's see. Going back uh, to the purpose of this uh, video is that today we are going to continue observing the VMware Workstation 10 we installed recently in my computer. And uh, we are going to configure if this is possible to be remotely controlled, like desktop. And so uh, I'm going to show you how to configure. Well, as I've said before, this is for beginner PC hobbies and if you are already an expert to computer computing, then this is not for you. Now, here is the uh, workstation and I have already opened the uh, Windows 8.1 uh, professional we installed recently to start with so that it will be accessible it's either you need to know the pc name pc name like this bmware or the ip address of your computer and if you're going to open the network and sharing center you can see here change adapter setting and under uh, adapter setting, you will see the adapter and go to status and then click details and this is your IP address. Now I'm using the IPv4 address. I am not using uh, this uh, IPv6 uh, yet, but I'm using IPv4. Now, write this down and you will be needing this or you will be needing uh, the PC name of your computer for remote desktop, this one. Now, we are already on the uh, properties of your computer. Right click your computer icon go to properties and under this properties if you are using windows 8 or windows 8.1 or windows 7 you will see a remote setting here click that one now as a default it says under remote desktop don't allow remote connection to this computer now you are going to click allow remote connection to this computer 
And here is another option down below for Windows 8 and Windows 7. It says allow connection only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentic authentication. It is recommended. But uh, for the sake of observation, I'm going to unclick this one, but uh, only allow remote connection on this computer. And here, there's a box in here that you can click and see it's open, but administrator groups can remote connect to this computer. Well, if you are a user of this computer, as an administrator, yes, you can. But if it is not, then you are not. Unless you uh, will create a special, uh, how do I say it? A special option uh, in here like for instance this one if this is not an illustration go to properties under uh, computer management and then select the members option and you are going to add another uh, capability of as a user by clicking that option and choosing uh, let's see, a uh, remote desktop user. So you can click that and then add. There you go, remote desktop. Now, even though you are not an administrator, since you added uh, a uh, an option in your account to become a remote desktop user, then you can remote desktop uh, your PC anywhere you are now or I can I can add users in here to make sure that I could uh, log in as a user no my username is Joe so I'll just add it and then click on it now I'm added as a user of remote desktop now, how are you going to do it? How are you going to use it? Now, just uh, try to remember this. I'm going to open a notepad in here. Notepad. And write down uh, remote. Uh, desktop. Testing. All right, I'm going to uh, enlarge the font of this and see if we can still see this later on. Now, I'm going to minimize and then on the address bar down below, I'm going to run the program for remote desktop. Just run MSTSC like that. Click enter and then it will give you this. Now, what was the IP address again? A while ago, you are going to write the IP address of uh, the PC you are going to remote the stuff right here. Now, I'm going to write it down. 192. Uh, 168.241.128 now I'm going to connect connect and it asks for my password I'm going to apply it voila there you go I was able to sign in and you can see uh, the notepad where I wrote a while ago remote desktop in here now I am running the installed Windows 8 running inside my computer and connect it over remote desktop. Now, only one user is allowed in here. Let's see what happened to the work to the VMware workstation. Well, it locked up like this. And it says, sign in remotely from 
this is the PC name ideas. Well, what can I say, folks? I would say thanks much for your patience of watching this simple video. Shalom.